<laughs> Hello, St. John's. Hello. It's Ben Kogel. And Sarah Weatherly. And this is your August 18th weekly update. Yes. Do you know where we are right now? Where are we, Sarah? We're in Father Chris's office. That's right. And he While Father know. Chris is he away, we get to hang out here in the big desk. Oh, yeah, the big room. <laughs> I, I haven't heard from Father Chris yet this morning. Do you want to yeah. call him and yeah, see let's how call he's him. doing? Yeah, let's call yeah. him. I'm, I'm curious. I wonder if he'll answer. Hello. Hey. Hey, you guys. What are you doing? We're just filming the weekly update. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> That's so awesome that you would call right now. Uh, well, uh, we're packing up, about to throw stuff in the car and head towards the airport and come home. Awesome. Oh, yay. We're excited how, to see you. How was the big move? Oh, the big move was great. I mean, there were quite a few tears that were shed. None of them for Meredith, I don't think. But uh, <laughs> she was great. She had like a one fifteen time slot for two hours oh, wow. where we could move everything in. She's got a great roommate. Um, she's all settled and, and raring to go. She's ready to get going. And uh, it's it's a little sad to get on an airplane and leave the baby behind. But, you know, this is all part of life. We it know. Yeah. You got to let her fly. Let her fly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we got to let her fly. And she'll fly high. She's a great, great young lady. So yes. how are you guys? How, how did the ice cream social go? It went so well. We it had so awesome. many kids. Mm -hmm. So many Are you kids. kidding? No. I'm oh, not man. That is awesome. Sarah, did you get your fill of ice cream? Because I know I did. And guess what? Oh, please tell me there's some leftovers. <laughs> there's like 20 in the freezer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've just been having an ice cream sandwich every day for lunch. I hope that's okay. <laughs> yeah, there may not be any more by the time you get here, but... Yeah, um, I was going to say, make sure you share with Ben. You can't have them all. You oh, know, I know that. Solid, I mean, if I ate them all, you know, I'd probably be in a coma, like not able to move. <laughs> Comatose. Mm. And, and Ben, I, so not every person right out of seminary for their first funeral sermon gets media coverage from all three local stations. That's right. That was a bit what intimidating. Was but was, I know, you know they were celebrating Bill Sisk and his wonderful life and service in the military, but what, what was that like for you, bud? Uh, it was a little, uh, not alarming, it was just a little little scary. I, mm -hmm. you know, I didn't know to expect that until Monday morning, really, is when we knew that there were going to be not one, not two, but three channels. Um, but we, we helped them. We set them up in the choir loft, and they got some good shots of the funeral. And um, Bill Sisk was really involved with the Monument Terrace and the memorial uh -huh. groups there. And so they actually changed the route of the hearse so that he could drive by and stop at Monument Terrace oh, one last time on his awesome. way to Spring Hill Cemetery. So they, got, awesome. they, they covered that as well, and that was really sweet. Um, if, That's if, awesome. For folks watching at home, if you didn't get to see the funeral or you didn't get to see the news coverage, if you, I'm sure if you Google it, Lynchburg News, um, they did some really nice pieces, and, um, and some of them they had in, they replayed interviews that Bill did over the years. Mm -hmm. um, so oh man, that's that's really too. that's really awesome, Ben. I'm so so happy that mm -hmm. you've had that experience and that opportunity. I guess yeah. doing the weekly updates maybe prepared you for being in front of the camera. It did yeah. a little bit. I feel like I'm my <laughs> own uh, sort of newscaster. <laughs> Hey, you guys, so one of the things I, I, I want you guys to do before I get back, I, I'd love to see a list of podcast names that we can bandy about and vote oh, on yeah, and decide right. what we're going to do. We are so, thinking and praying hey, about listen, our new podcast, and we're really excited. Yeah, we are I am, excited. I am, too. Hey, we're going to run out the door. I'm going to let you guys do the update. Thanks so much for calling and checking in. I miss you guys. Uh, I miss all of all the people at St. John's, and um, can't wait to get back home. Alrighty, Sounds good. We'll see you soon. See you tomorrow. All right, God bless get you guys. Safe. Bye. 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 Why don't we open up with prayer now yeah. that we've had the had the fun? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God, the fountain of all wisdom, enlighten by your Holy Spirit those who teach and those who learn, that rejoicing in the knowledge of your truth they may worship you and serve you from generation to generation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. That was a prayer for education uh, found on page 261 of your prayer books. Uh, we prayed that today because the day school started back on Monday. Mm -hmm. we, Sarah and I helped welcome in all the new families and all the returning families uh, and, yes. and comfort some crying kids and yes. hold some umbrellas. Uh, mm -hmm. And also I know that all of your, your children have started back at various times and places in school. 
Um, as we said with Chris, we had an awesome blessing of yes, the backpacks. We did. Um, and we're really sorry that for those online that the sound didn't work uh, on Sunday morning. Um, I'm really bummed about that. Me too. You had a really good um, sermon. Thank you. Um, and, and yeah, if you want a copy of the sermon, if you want something uh, from Sunday, if you want a backpack tag, if you weren't mm -hmm. able to make it, we'd be happy to get those to you. You can come by the church office or reach out by email or phone and we can get you whatever we can to make up for it. Um, mm -hmm. We figured out the, the glitch. Uh, I think as we said a, a couple months ago, last time we had this trouble, what happens is our software updates and when it does, it resets our settings from the way we have it set up to work with our mm -hmm. system to whatever the default is. Um, and if we don't catch that, uh, and and you know, I'm I'm the person. Who, no, I'm not the person who would catch that. Father Chris would catch that. Mm -hmm. um, and since I did the slides to get ready for Sunday morning, I forgot to check to make sure there wasn't an update. So it's it's kind of on me, and I'm really sorry about that. It's okay. But it happens, and we move on. Um, tomorrow or. On Monday, it's the fourth Monday of the month, and so St. John's will be serving the Gateway Dinner. Um, we, we don't have anyone signed up to help serve, so if you would like to uh, make an entree, make a side, or help out with that ministry, uh, please contact the church office, uh, ideally today, tomorrow, mm -hmm. or Friday, so we can know oh, and plan for it. And the meal this week is chicken. That is the theme. There you go. Yes. Yeah. So contact Nicole. Um, and she'll tell you exactly what to make. They have a they have a scheduled meal so that when groups come in and bring food, it's not always lasagna or not always, uh, you know, whatever it would be, yeah, burgers. Um, so there's a scheduled meal. There's there's plenty, and it's easy to make. You just gotta uh, commit to doing it and helping out. And this is a really important ministry for us. So I hope you'll uh, a few of you will sign up to help out this week. Mm -hmm. um, and again, it's only once a month, so you're not making a longer term commitment. Just helping out uh, on this fourth coming <laughs> forthcoming fourth monday, monday. that's it <laughs> that's it that was all um the other uh serious announcement that we've been announcing for a couple weeks uh tomorrow will be the funeral for elias richards at 11 a.m in the church um so we invite you all to come to that i know elias and his family Anne and and his children um are close to many of you all so we hope that folks will come in person or view online and be supportive of the family uh during their grief um Last week, we talked about what's coming next with the Bible study. Yes. Um, it seems like, for, I, I put out a little survey in the weekly update, got a few responses, and heard from a few other people uh, individually, and so it sounds like the Monday at 10 a.m. slot is a go. So plan on September 13th and the following weeks for at least 24 weeks, possibly a few more. We'll be reading the Bible using the book The Path from Genesis all the way to Revelation. Um, so we will have some more sign-up information, some more if you need to get a copy of the book, we can help you do that. Um, we'll have that coming out in the next couple of weeks, uh, and we'll also have uh, more clarity in the next couple of weeks about whether it will be a uh, hybrid, so you can come in person or on Zoom, or, mm -hmm. or whether it will be all online. Uh, mm -hmm. We're not quite sure yet. We want to do what's going to be best for the group and best for folks to have conversations with each other. because. Um, Reading the path means that we'll read a chapter every week, uh, you know, 10, 15 pages, not mm -hmm. too long, uh, but that there won't be as much lecture from me or from Sarah or from Father Chris. It'll be more uh, conversation and engagement with the text and with each other. Mm -hmm. So really looking forward yeah. to that. Sarah, do you want to go ahead with all of your announcements? Yeah, sure. So Sunday school is starting up September 12th, which mm -hmm. is happening very quickly it is um, less than a month away. less than a month so what i need from you guys is volunteers if you have a full heart patience a fun attitude some humor <laughs> or um, any one of those or things. any one of those things i mean i'm not picky i'm not picky please consider volunteering to help out with our sunday school and youth group um right now we have 28 kids signed up which is super exciting that's awesome and we're trying to bring them back so hopefully more will sign up but we also need the volunteers in order to make it happen that's right sarah and i are reading this book and one of the things that they recommend for a youth or a children's ministry is mm -hmm. is that they obviously get volunteers um it can't just fall on one or two staff people at church uh because as you know, staff people change, but the families, the people who make up the church, you all are around for a long time. So as awesome as it is yeah. to have Sarah and have a great mentor. You know we, the kids way better than I do. That's right. We want to have you all be involved as well. I mean, you don't have to have kids to be a volunteer, right? It's not just on the parents. Mm -hmm. In fact, sometimes it works better when 
somebody who's are. not a parent of so and so is the volunteer because then the kids feel like they can open up a bit more and connect mm-hmm. a bit more with that person without the feeling of like, oh, well, they're just going to go tell my mom whatever yeah, I say to exactly. them. Exactly. And then the other thing is, please sign up your kids for Sunday school and youth groups. So mm-hmm. I have a better know, like knowing of what to expect, what to prepare for. How many snacks do we need? You know, all important things. That's right. That's all right. All important things. Um, in a couple weeks, you'll start hearing a little bit more about our campus ministries. Um, mm-hmm. I'm going to be partnering with Gail Goldsmith at Trinity Boonesboro. Uh, and we're going to try something new in the area that hasn't really been tried before. We're going to try and combine Liberty, or, excuse me, Liberty, um, Lynchburg College slash University with Randolph. Uh, college slash university. I know both have changed their names recently. Really? Um, Randolph so. did? Is Randolph still college? It's still Randolph College, I think. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> well, here, this is why we need some more preparation time. Yeah. <laughs> um, all of that to say that we are beginning to build a partnership to do campus ministries between two churches and between two colleges. And hopefully that'll let us have a bit of, um, what do you call it? The uh, When there's a big enough group, uh, there's some momentum, there's... Uh, camaraderie yeah, uh, yeah you know what i mean uh we'll get uh some a good group of kids together a, gr- a good group of young people who uh want to pray together and study together and have fellowship together and so, who knows maybe help out with youth group and yeah and maybe, who knows, and maybe they we'll find some more volunteers for youth group yeah and maybe they'll start coming this sunday morning at one or both churches so mm-hmm. those are all things that we're looking forward to that we're planning and working on during the week between um the different events that we have at st john's um, I do want to say one final thing as we're uh, winding up the weekly update this week. Did you have any more announcements before I No, wrap I don't up? think I have any. All right. Good. I don't think I have any. Um, w- while we are making these big plans and we are going to continue to move forward with all of our plans, um, we're also checking in with the COVID-19 numbers in Virginia and in the country. We're watching the news. We're reading the papers um, and keeping up to date with our public health sources. Uh, we are very aware of uh, the risks that come with doing in-person activities, which is why we've moved back to having uh, masks all during the entire service on Sunday morning uh, or Wednesday Eucharist. Um, And that's why we are continuing to pray and discern whether or not we can offer some of these things in person or if we're gonna have to move back to a more uh, hybrid or online or spaced out model. So. We're not going to have the answer today. We're not going to have the answer even by next week. Uh, it's going to be sort of a moving target this fall, um, mm-hmm. especially with the next couple of weeks with our children back in schools. That's going to be a real determining factor is how they're doing and if they have uh, been are, are safe there or if they mm-hmm. are getting sick uh, and what have you. Because as much as we want to have these folks in church, we also don't want to put their lives and their health at risk in exactly. order to do so. Exactly. So... Know that while we are making big plans, while we want desperately to invite everyone back and have everyone come back, we also respect that you might not be ready to come back, that there's um, some safety, comfort, uh, some folks are immunocompromised, some folks are not vaccinated yet because they're children or haven't had access. Um, and we are keeping both sides of that in mind when we make our decisions and make our plans. So yeah. pray for us, for Father Chris, for myself, Sarah, and all the staff here. Um, as well as your vestry and church and committees and leadership as we uh, m- make plans and remake our plans and have to let some things go and take on new things that we weren't expecting. Yes. Well, well, I think that wraps it up. I think so too. It was great to be with you all this morning. Uh, if you see this before noon, come on down for noon you- yes. for Wednesday. Uh, church. It'll be noonday prayer, just me today. So there'll be a noonday prayer and a sermon. Uh, and if not, we'll see you uh, at one of our events or on Sunday morning. Yes. Take Bye, care. Bye bye.